Good afternoon. I thought I uh, accomplished two things today. Feed the plants, fully feed the plants, and also give you uh, just a quick tour of what uh, we've got back here. Um, so when it comes to feeding, I normally have a concoction, um, fish emulsion, kelp meal, seafood meal, seaweed meal, uh, and this one is a, a micro booster. Uh, we're talking chelated iron, chelated manganese, all the stuff that the tropicals would want. And secret. This is molasses. This is gonna replace sugar. So why are we putting molasses on plants? Well, this is all building blocks. This is not the plant's energy. This sugar is what the plant wants. That's their energy. I mean, the whole process with photosynthesis is to produce sugar. So there's been scientifically proven facts that plants trees absorb sugar due to their, their leaves so we're gonna give them a boost of sugar so I, I feed these guys fully feed them maybe two weeks or so um, so here's the process I normally just kind of eyeball it I mean the dosage on these are just so minimal that you really can't overdose the plants The thing with foliar feeding um, is there's a couple of pointers. Uh, ideally, you should be feeding it, uh, foliar feeding it, between 75 to 85-ish uh, temperatures. Uh, right now, it's in the low 90s, not the best time, but this is the Central Valley, and we normally don't get down to that temperature until midnight. and. Probably not a good idea to feed these uh, plants midnight. So mixing it all in. And also, <clears throat> this is more uh, an etiquette, but uh, be mindful of your neighbors. What I mean by that is once foliar feed happens, the whole property and probably the whole neighborhood is gonna stink um, and you know people are gonna give you funny faces so just be mindful of the neighbors I mean ideally you know I, I would prefer to feed these guys every week but um, I think two weeks is a good compromise and also uh, one tip for you invest in a good backpack sprayer uh, the cheap ones they don't last as long and they're just not comfortable so invest in a good unit and I've had pretty luck good luck with this uh, unit so there you go It, it does weigh quite a bit, so just uh, be careful there. So while I'm feeding, I thought I'd just give you a quick tour. Where should I begin? Well, let's start off with these guys. These are uh, ice cream bananas. We have them here for uh, basically a privacy fence. Various uh, herbs, yellow passion fruit vine. This guy right here is a Mexican sunflower. Uh, we use it for uh, chopping and dropping. Very high nitrogen. More uh, yellow passion fruits. These two uh, gravas back here are Taiwanese gravas. Here's a peppercorn tree back here. Grapefruit back here. 
newest additions. This is an African pride Atamoya. This guava back here is a pro guava. Another pro guava. Actually, I'm sorry, this one is a uh, crystal guava. Another pro guava right in front of it. This is a Thai guava uh, grown from seed. Going back to foliar feeding just a bit. Notice I'm uh, getting the underneath uh, the leaves as well. So just uh, applied a, a generous amount. This Edamoya is a Gaffner Edamoya. This guava is another pro guava. This banana is a Japanese banana. Very, very cohorty. I mean, you're talking zone 8. This uh, Chermoya is an Orton Chermoya. This Chermoya is a Lisa Chermoya. Various uh, seedlings. Mango, of course. Blueberries. This is a Manila mango. This is a Chermoya. I'm sorry, Edamoya. Not sure what variety. As you can see, it is fruity. This banana right here is a cord cordaba. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a it's native to the Philippines. Another banana right here. This is uh, from Hawaii. This is a double mahoy. I believe that's how you say it. Another Manila uh, mango. Big fan of Manila mangoes. They are very, very cohorty. And of course, the sour stops. Yeah, these guys are very, very nice. They, they grow very nicely when it comes to vertical growth. Not sure how to prune it, but yeah, it just wants to go straight up. One of the newer uh, uh, collections, this is a Araza. Uh, it's from the Amazon rainforest. I believe it's native to Brazil. It's a bit tart, but uh, you know, that's why we have the miracle berry. Uh, Patanga tuba back here. Patumba up here. Chipoti kaba. And this straight looking fig here is a Valet de Baudet. It really shouldn't get this high. I mean, they technically top out at 10 feet, but he's still growing. Right in front of us, Chico Sapote. It is flowering. I don't know if the fruits are, uh, flowers are going to stay, but it is flowering. Right back here, nice looking foliage. BUQ uh, Longan. Of course, right in front of us, black gold jackfruit. Uh, of course, this store food right here, likely a sour variety. Rumor chill. It's a very, very fast grower. Of course, uh, dragon fruits. Can't forget these guys. Various seedlings, jackfruits, lychees, and a mamesa pote back here. Moving on, Kohala Longan. Another BQ Longan. And right in front of us, guava of unknown variety. It is, of course, fruiting. So the mangoes. 
Wow. I actually don't know what this one is. Uh, ah, it's a kill Savoy. So that's a kill Savoy. This guy back here, this mango back here is a queso mango. One of the world's sweetest mango. Mango in front of us, right here that I'm spraying, is a Floragon. And this mango right here is a lemon zest. Alright, so I'm gonna be brave and trying to get down there without getting all stinky. Okay. So this guy right here is a Popi Palais, or Popi Calais, uh, also known as a lemon meringue mango. This uh, wax shampoo is, you know, I forgot what this one is. It's a wax shampoo. Yo, come back to me. Uh, another wax shampoo. This one is flowering again, which is odd because we've already picked all the fruits out of this guy, but it's still flowering. Uh, he is a black diamond. I'm sorry, black pro wax shampoo. Longin back here, the one that I'm spraying right now. BQ, Kahala. I mean, check out the uh, longins. It should just be a matter of weeks before they um, start ripening. Of course, here's the carry star fruit. This uh, wax jambu in front of us is a, you know, I'm also drawing a blink on this guy. It's a, it's a wax jambu. I have, I think I might have too many wax jambus. Might be an issue if you can't rem remember what the names are or what varieties you've got. Okay, moving on back here. Okay. Need to, uh. We stake this climbing water over here. But uh, yeah. All right, moving on, more mangoes. Uh, this mango right here is, I wanna say this is uh, a Malika mango. I need to uh, restake him. A um, Thai, um, Thai guava. A pro grava in this container here. This mango back here, tall guy, is an Alfonso mango. This guava over here is a an Indian white guava. It's got fruits, and of course, miracle berry. Uh, this guava right here is another Thai guava. These two are Kent mangoes. And of course, Barbados cherry, which is flowering. Yeah, Barbados cherry and uh, miracle berries, they, they generally fruit year round. Of course, Cavendish banana. And this guy back here, shade loving guy, coffee tree of course. One thing with coffee trees, they are a water hog. This guy is very, very thirsty, always. Which is great because that's why we've got them back here next to these bananas. Uh, Valencia Pride um, Mango, of course. Can't forget the uh, Hawaiian solo papaya here. It's got fruits, obviously. From this angle, you could. Um, it, it's got fruits that are fairly. Well, they're, they're getting large. 
very productive. So this mango, ice cream mango, loving the heat. It's got some new growth here. Sad looking mango is a hated mango. And the reason why it's sad is I discover a colony, an ant colony down here. So we've got some uh, ant, um, ant baits down there. So hopefully it uh, clears up, but I've got him back here for shade. Uh, another, oh, well actually this one is a Shui Shampoo Longian. And of course, um, Dragon Fruits. Uh, these Dragon Fruits, I believe these are the red flush varieties. Mokahala Longians. All right, let's get into the uh, foresty area here. This is a Miley Rose apple. Very, very cold sensitive, but it's a nice comeback. They seem to come back nicely. And this uh, rose apple here, pruned it heavily the other week, is uh, probably not in the best spot, but it is growing. And of course, the edamoya. This is really the main edamoya. It's uh, yeah, it's going quite a bit, fruiting. This one is an emperor lychee. A lot of new growth on him. Giant sugar apple right here. Back here in this. Uh, super heavy shade area penned in of course uses to make dessert very very uh, fragrant um, Mauritius lychee it's getting uh, burnt a bit so I might need to move this guy mango seedlings uh, wax jambu seedlings of course miracle berry and uh, my mesa pote seedling And right here in these two containers, these are pawpaws. Uh, yeah, it's, they're not a big fan of the sun, so I've got them way back here. Moving on, this wax jambu right here that's in the ground is a Thai jumbo wax jambu. And of course, Mexican papaya. This uh, longin down here is another Kahala longin. This uh, lychee right here is a booster lychee. A bunch of new growth on this guy. And of course the Subel sapote. It's a white sapote. And I've already mentioned this but this is the uh, one of the uh, Edamoya. It's got a massive fruit right there. So, moving on. Of course, we've got this low quad here. We think it was planted from seed, but it's uh, going about four years old now. It's a very nice looking tree. Uh, another guava of unknown variety. And of course, tamarinds, sweet tamarinds, of course. You can't forget these guys. These guys love the heat. Not a big fan of the cold, but they generally do, generally do bounce back. So, I'm gonna see how I can go about in going back here. But uh, let's see, oh, this right here, Sonam Cherry. First time I tried this Sonam Cherry, it was in uh, Exotica in uh, there's a nursery in Vista, California by San Diego First time I tried it was just like uh, a uh, Ratatouille moment it brought back some memories. It was like I had this before so It's going about two and a half years now So moving on to the other side of Django 
Mm. This is kind of a messy job. I don't know if you can tell, but you will stink along with the yard. But that's okay because the trees love it. All right, bananas. How can I forget bananas? Obviously, fooding. I mean, this alone is like a jungle of bananas. Yeah, there's no way I can reach the top, so I'm just gonna try my best. Cavendish banana. This is the common banana species that you uh, find in the stores. Of course, I've got two uh, a cha chas here. Another uh, Vietnamese uh, guava various seedlings which I have not seen any activity on them yet um, this is all uh, mangosteen seedlings we've got the uh, container here for humidity another guava this is an Indian pink guava it is fruity well, actually most of my guavas are fruity various uh, guava seedlings here and chamoyas, more chamoyas. This is a Finet de or Finot de Jete chamoya. This one is a, I want to say it's a Dr. White. No, it's a Booth chamoya. Booth chamoya. Back here is a Dr. White chamoya. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I practice super dense planting. So you're talking two feet away from each other, but they do coexist. This guy back here is a grapefruit. Got it from Costco. It was very sad looking. Got it for five bucks off of a, uh, you know, a shelf that's basically was next to the trash can if no one buys it. But it's grown nicely. Uh, more guavas. Uh, this one is a Vietnamese guava. Here we have a, an alama. Going quite a bit. This guava is a Mexican cream guava. It's quite creamy. That's probably why they call it a Mexican cream. And of course, another uh, ice cream uh, mango. It got scorched a bit by the sun, but it is uh, making a nice comeback. And of course, this tree right here, which I continuously prune, but it keeps outgrowing, is the Inga tree, the ice cream uh, bean tree. Nitrogen fixing. There's a, a coffee tree back here in this container. Here's a uh, pineapple guava. Uh, another uh, Valet de Bode fig. Probably can't tell, but there's a um, a, a black. Um, I'm sorry, a, a gold nugget uh, jackfruit back here. It's uh, heavily shaded. This gravel right here is a Ruby Supreme. It is a late bloomer. This particular guy. There's a, a couple of fruits on him, but he's a very very late bloomer. Back here is whew, another variety of unknown, a uh, graph of unknown variety. You could tell he, he is loaded with fruits. Here's a calamodine. It's quite sour. Of course, black, uh, I'm sorry, not black, uh, green diamond wax shampoo. I need to uh, get this guy out of the shade. He needs more sun. But this uh, orange here is a kara kara orange. Also need to uh, give him some more sun. So this mango right here is a Nam Dok Mai. Same with this other one right here in front. All right. The main guy, tropical white uh, guava. 
see all these sticks that uh, we're using to support the branch we actually have to date uh, just this year alone three branches broke and of course with each branch you know, it comes with a, a nice number of fruits that were lost Guava back here is uh, red Malaysian. This store food back here is another carry. Just trying my best to uh, feed it. Here's a GA866 uh, Jujube. This one we were told it was uh, another GA866, but I don't think it is. Looking at the differences in the the jujube it's probably a lang jujube two uh kahala longans uh this atomoya right here is a uh a red is real atomoya it is fruiting got two little baby atomoyas here i'm gonna likely take out the rest of the flowers because i mean two is enough this uh, sugar apple is a red sugar apple, also known as a kapong uh, math. Here we have a blood uh, orange. And I forgot to mention, but we've got a um, view Q long in back there. It's uh, relatively tall. Let's see, where was I? Oh, can't forget this guy. It's a, a carry mango and of course that banana back there is a Namwa banana moving on with uh, passion food obviously loaded with flowers I'm um, sorry fruits and this guy this is how you know it's ripe it's a um, tropical pink grava all right i'm gonna be brave and uh, try to somehow get back here okay it's on my face oh. All right, I've got a couple of hidden tropicals back here. These are, I've got two Inga plants, uh, trees in a container. Uh, also ice cream bean trees. This right here is a sand tall. I mean, check out the size of the leaves, it's massive. This mango right here going quite a bit is a Lancetilla, one of the world's biggest mangoes. Generally, we're talking five, six pounds a piece. Need to uh, restake him. Of course, more Mexican sunflower. It's about time I need to uh, chop and drop these guys. Um, but right here, a trample canistale aka yellow sapote another sour sap of course this one's a bit matured back here loving the heat uh, maju date palms this is a kefir lime We've got a uh, gumichima back here not a big fan of the sun So right here is, in front of me is um, Corriente Mango. Alano Cepadella. Van Dyke Mango. Um, missing an M on this one. It's uh, it'll come to me, but it's a it's a it's a common mango. 
Uh, of course, right here is a red Malaysian grava. Dwarf Namwan banana back here. Alright, moving on. Oh, and uh, yeah, I really do need to take this guy. I've been a bit preoccupied. But right here is a black gold um, wax jambu. Just generously coating everything. Try to uh, get out of here. Whew. Yep, it does smell like a fish market. Another um, Thai guava loaded with fruits. Avocado, of course, grown from seed. Uh, right here is a black diamond wax jambu. And of course, Kapulin cherry. And this uh, tree back here is a Jamaican cherry, also known as a strawberry tree. Um, it actually is uh, fruity. There's a, a fruit or two back there. And of course, right behind us, tall guy is another trampo canistel aka white I'm sorry uh, yellow sapote here's a duhat also known as a uh, whew, also known as a um, jamun figs this is a brown turkey fig improved brown turkey fig Narakahala long gem Peter's honey fig, this massive guy back here. This is the second set of fruits. Uh, is the typical common brown turkey fig. Figs, they uh, they really thrive on neglect. I mean, you know, they just kind of go on their own. You really don't need to baby them. Of course, I already mentioned this, but this is an alama. Uh, more figs. This is I'm sorry, gravas. This is a. Uh, Vietnamese grava. Here's a mandarin. Mandarin. More Vietnamese gravas. Whew. So that concludes the back. So here's the front. Here's the uh, carry star fruit. This one is, since I did the video a few weeks ago, it is flowering. Yes. So, give them a generous amount of uh, food here. Another carry back here. This one is not yet flowering any day now. Of course, we've got back here uh, loaded with fruits that we've been picking. Uh, lemon guava. It's uh, it's very sweet. It, it's very creamy, juicy. Got a banana, which I'm missing on the name, but it is fruit producing. Um, here's a, a couple of papayas, Mexican papayas, uh, grown from seed. They were planted in the ground. A month ago when they were on the ground they were literally a foot high. Uh, gold finger banana. Of course mango down here. And this guy right here, Ruby Supreme, we've been plucking the uh, foot off of this guy. And down here, Kahala Longen. 
another uh, red Malaysian here. Chiamoyas, of course. Not sure what variety, but it's a Chiamoya. Another uh, will be Supreme Grava here. And actually, I want to say I forgot a Chiamoya back there. I'm going to try to go back there and give him some food here. This guy right here, back here, it's uh, another Chiamoya. Let's see. Here's a Sugar King Jujube. This guy is loaded with fruits. Another uh, Kahala Longian. I say maybe two more weeks, three more weeks, food should be ready. More Mexican uh, papaya. Another uh, do hot. Another uh, Corriente mango up here. And of course, more Mexican papayas. Another uh, GA866 uh, jujube. More tamarinds, of course. Strawberry guava. It is loaded with fruit. And lastly, which I cannot get to this guy, but he is a moringa. So that really should uh, conclude the video. Alright, have a good afternoon.